guys welcome back to my channel how you all doing thank you for stopping by again today if it's your first time on my channel you're highly welcome please click on the subscribe button down below and join my family yes guys and to my returning subscribers thank you for clicking on this video again today so from the title of the video you know that we're going to be predicting the sex of my baby yes i will not even come and lie to you guys that i don't know the sex of this baby at this point yeah but i find the old wife tales uh, made as something very interesting and i wanted to try it and see how accurate these things are you understand so that is why we are going to be doing it today so if you are team boy put it down in the comment section and if you, if you are team girl also put it down in the comment section so yes i have a board here guys yes so i got two pens i have the red marker for girl and this for boy so yes guys i'm going to be telling you guys a very interesting story before we start funny enough like i've always wanted to tell this story and <laughs> it's so funny now that i'm laughing so i think around five months of my pregnancy right i think five months or thereabouts so my church wanted to throw me a surprise um, um baby shower so they were working with my husband and my husband was like i just got up one day and he's like we're going to go and check out the sex of this baby because over here at four months with my other baby i already knew the sex of the baby everything was very very you know visible and everything so when it was five months we had already gone for antenatal at the fourth month and my doctor was like it wasn't clear so i should come back in the fifth month so the fifth month earlier in the fifth month my husband just came one day and told me that we are going to go to like a nearby laboratory hospital it was not even a laboratory it was a hospital they were going to go there and go and check for the sex of the baby i'm like ah why not let's wait till the time that we're giving like the normal because i go for antenatal every month so i was like no 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 no. i just want to know the sex of the baby like he was just telling me different different stories and i'm like okay i agreed we went i didn't know he was working with my church so we actually went and <laughs> this doctor actually tells me a sex of the baby that I, I I had hopes for a certain sex of the baby. You understand? So by the time I got there, he told us another sex. I was like, okay, we're happy. You know, I was like, it doesn't matter, girl, boy, whatever. I was so so happy, guys. Only for my church to come, set up, do all those. Like it was a colorful um, baby shower. And at the end of the day, when I went back to my doctor. He just confirmed another sex of the baby. I went back there again because the doctor was like, he wasn't too sure, but I should come back. And he was not seeing another one. By that time, the baby shower has, like, we've already finished baby shower. So, <laughs> guys, I was so confused. I was, so, I was like, now there's a baby shower in another, in another gender. And now they're telling me another gender, like, guys, like, and I'm going to be uploading that video. It's like, the baby shower was everything. I was so humbled. Like it was everything. Notwithstanding that, we got we did another baby shower for another sex. Whereas it's another sex that I'm expecting. So I wanted to say this story here. It as in that doctor, like when I went back then, he was telling me another sex. I was like, so why were you telling me that you were 98% sure that it was this sex and all of that? But anyways, guys, at this point. We are so sure of the baby that uh, of the sex of our baby and yeah i've given you pool a very very interesting it happens in movie but this one happened to me in person so let's move ahead the old wife tales um questions are on google so i randomly just checked few you understand so we're going to be trying as i said right now i have as you can see this is girl and this is boy so we're going to be going for it. anyone that anyone that i ask if it's for a boy i'm going to be giving the boy points and all of that good stuff so let's do this so sorry i'm going to be looking down to my tablet because i want to pick I actually downloaded some questions in here so we're going to be looking down and i'm going to be answering 
the questions so they are just theories you understand but i'm very curious to know if actually this will tell me though we are going to be doing a gender review on this channel so keep your fingers crossed but let us try these theories and see if it actually works so the first one is how is my belly sitting yeah is it near my ribs or near my pelvis according to the theory if it's down it's a boy and if it's up okay so let us if it's sitting down okay let us check how is my belly sitting let's check for steady bomb let's see very well here is my baby bomb for me i just noticed that my baby bomb is you can see it's not up it's just going down as you can see guys let me, let me turn and see I think I, yeah as you guys can see it so it's in the middle but i feel it's down it's not up the normal place so with this theory <laughs> let's see they said if it is down it's a boy so i feel my tummy has just been down this period and somebody even saw me in the hospital and was like ah your belly, your belly. and funny enough the woman saw me and she was like she mentioned the sex of my baby with my tummy because i asked her how did you know and she just told me that with the way my my bum is positioning that's how she got to know the sex of the baby so with this way my tummy is sitting if i'm going to be saying it's a boy so we are going to be giving one for a boy yeah so we have one here so the next one is the bomb shape if it is strong and straight okay let us check the bomb the bombs the bomb this thing for they say bomb shape if it is strong and straight it is a boy if it is wide and thick it is a girl guys you, they don't even need to ask me this question self like the belly is already straight as you guys can see my bum is straight like it's just on its own it's not round because they said if it is wide so my my belly is just going on its own and it's straight and of course it is strong so yeah hmm. am i sure that this thing let's see if it works anyway so with this theory it says if it if your bum is straight and if it is strong very strong guys it is a boy if it is wide and thick it is a girl no my bum has been shooting out for a very long time so boy has another one yeah so the third one is if you like sweet stuffs it is a girl if you like salty Tough, it is a boy so guys with this pregnancy <laughs> i even made myself a bacha guys i made a bacha i've been craving for pepper like anything local these days i cook my noodles and i just put a bit of i don't know if it's a bit of dawa dawa all those local stuff i've just been craving a lot of local things anything local this period just give it to me so they said if you like sweet stuff is a girl if you like salty stuff like local food guys it's a boy <laughs> boy hey we have three for boy <laughs> guys oh my god i don't even know let's continue so the next one says the severity of morning sickness it is scientifically proven that with high levels of money sickness, the f with high levels of money sickness, if you have money sickness in law, that's what they are saying, then it's a girl or twins. No, I'm not even having twins, it's just one. Yes, so if it's not, like if I don't have money sickness, it's a boy. Guys, truth be told, this period I have not been sick. 
throughout the entire pregnancy up till now it is i've thrown up once once and that once like i think something triggered it it was just once i've not been sick during this period and i'm just grateful to god so with this theory we are, if it's they said if you don't have a lot of money sickness that means it's a boy but if you have a lot of money sickness it's a girl hey boys are winning you know? so i'm very very healthy guys i don't have money sickness at all so it's a boy are they sure so we have we have this for as you can see for for boys and none for girls <laughs> hey so moving ahead the next one is heart bone they said if you have if you're having heart bone then it's a girl if no heart bone it's a boy guys i've not actually had heart bone in this particular pregnancy but with my son's own i had heart bone and my mom was telling me that time that heart bones actually means that maybe your baby is coming out with thick hair so i'm concerned i hope this baby is coming out with a lot of hair because i have lots guys like we have hair when you say thick we have hair so i'm so concerned hard bone it just happened a few times but i've not had it like severely though these days i kind of stop eating very early so that i don't so that the digestion will take place very fast so i think i've not had much of heart bone and it's saying here that if you are if you're having heart bone then it's a girl if no heart bone it's a boy hey guys I've not had hard bone, no. I've not had hard bone, no. It's a boy. God. God. Hey. And they shall be alright. So we have five and none for girl. Hmm. Five for boys and none for girl. Okay. Well, let's move ahead. The next one is the complexion. Like they said, if you're looking fine and glowing, you are having a boy but if you're ugly and have swollen nose you are having a girl see let's let, let me feel myself guys honestly speaking the last video where i did um like maternity trying i was telling you guys that i have been glowing in this pregnancy everybody that sees me they're like jenny you're glowing you're glowing you're glowing and it makes me happy like guys i normally break out a lot but in this preg i even broke out when i was pregnant of my son because i was breaking out then right now no breakout like the like the everything just as if it entered back like i'm glowing i don't use makeup at all for those people that know me so i use my bare face to do everything so no atom of breakout so with that with that being said they said if you are glowing which i know that you guys are confirmed mine am i not glowing with that i'm having a boy hey god and the my nose my face is not swollen nothing is swollen so we have another one for boy <laughs> guys So we have six for boys and none for girls. Anyway, let's continue. Are they sure they are correct? Because I don't know what I'm having now. Are they sure that they are right? Anyways, the next one is if your hair is breaking a lot. Like if you have like fragile hair breaking a lot, it's a girl. If you have a healthy thick hair, it's a boy. Guys, I've always had a very thick hair but this period the volume of my hair just grew a lot so i would not i don't know if i should consider this part of it because naturally i have a very it's just i'm wearing a wig but i have very very thick hair and it became full at this period so i don't have a fragile hair hey none for girl oh god not for girls, so we are considering this. Hey, God. Okay. Anyways, we still have more. So the next one is your body temperature 
if your body is always cold you are having a boy if you are always hot then it's a girl guys uh, in this period people that are in north cyprus know that we are in winter so i'm cold Le like 24 hours i'm cold i'm not hot except i on the heater i'm very cold very very cold everywhere is cold so i cannot even say my body temperature is which hot I tell. it's not so it's not even about maybe if we had the normal weather then i would now consider saying maybe i have a cold maybe i'm always cold but i'm always cold i'm always cold because it's winter we all know for those that are in north cyprus so with that being said is a boy but I don't know if you are hot. I'm not hot. I'm not hot, guys. It's cold. So I don't know if this point should go because it's winter. But let me just put it anyway. So if it's if you're always cold, is a is a boy. So guys. Guys, what is happening? What is happening? Not even one for girl. Okay. So another one is the chinese calendar according to the chinese calendar if my age and year of conception is even then it's a girl if it is odd it's a boy so we know that even numbers are 20 22 like that then we have um, odd number 21 like that so guys this was the first thing that i went to check immediately i found out that was with even before i found the uh, i found out the sex of my baby so i'll categorically tell you guys that i've calculated this even before now and it's a girl that is what it showed me huh? so the girl has one yeah we have one so this made me so excited the first time i was like oh my god i know i know i thought it was but i know the sex of the baby it's a girl it's a girl it's like <laughs> with which tales i'm like <laughs> they told me chinese calendar so with that i've calculated it so it's one for girl so the next one says swollen legs and ankle so the theory is that if i have swollen feet it's a boy if i don't have it's a girl guys i don't have i don't have swollen feet at all like even when i sit for long this and during my son's pregnancy i normally have okay okay it was towards when i wanted to yeah it was at the at the tail end of my pregnancy but throughout this period nothing like swollen leg nothing like swollen anything so that point is going for a girl it's like if you don't have swollen feet eh? if you have swollen feet it's a boy if you don't have it's a girl so our girl has another point <laughs> yeah we have two to seven now girl is coming up it's coming up <laughs> so sorry for this video if it's too lengthy we just want to know that we know the team that we are the next one is my mood if i'm happy and mellow and uh, it's a boy if i'm moody it's a girl guys i've been happy i've been happy even upon all the things that life keeps throwing, throwing at somebody i've been happy and th there's this saying that pregnant women are always very cranky they're always very moody they're always very no legit i've been happy throughout this period of course there are days that you just wake up and you have a lot on your head but being cranky no i think my husband will even bear me witness during this period i've just been happy trying to do things you understand so they said the, if you if i'm happy it's a boy if i'm moody i'm not moody so here the boy has another point so yes yeah, so we have eight we have nine for boys and we have two for girls so the next one is um the sleeping position so they said am i sleeping on my right more or on my left if you are sleeping on let me first of all say when i sleep i tend to sleep here but i kind of change i interchange but i feel comfortable every time i lie on my bed i sleep like this so i sleep on my right right so they said if if you if i'm sleeping on my right more 
it's a girl if it is the left side it's a boy so i sleep like this more but i kind of interchange so it's a girl for the right side i sleep like this it's a girl so the girl has three guys you can see the girl has three and the boy has um nine yeah so yeah to the last one headaches have you been suffering from horrible headache since you became pregnant so they said for bad headaches is for boy and for and if you don't have headaches it's for girl i've been having headaches i wouldn't even lie i've been having headaches but i just some i don't use i don't want to use like painkillers to subside my headache most of when i have it i just kind of drink a lot of water i just want to use the natural that's what my mommy said my mommy told me like too much of taking in drugs most times is not really really good so most of when i have these headaches i kind of drink a lot of water so i have headaches not all the time but i will say i have headaches and bad headaches a boy if no headache well i have headaches it's not really bad bad but that means i have headaches yeah so it's for a boy so yes guys we've come to the end of this yeah we've come to the end of this theory and we are going to be calculating together so at this point if you know you are team girl put it down because the gender the gender review will be coming up very soon with my surprise baby shower and it was lit it was everything i did i don't even like when i watch the video i'm also i'm always very very happy that you know people went out of their way to come and celebrate me so anyways let's go in counting and know the winner so for the boy we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten hmm a whooping ten and for the girl we have just three as you guys can see so with this theory with this theory of ours, <laughs> it has been proven to them because me, I know what I'm having. It has been proven by them to them <laughs> that I'm having a boy. Anyway, guys, very soon you guys are going to be seeing the gender. I just wanted to do this. It's interesting to know that something like this can actually, well, I will not till then, till then, before you guys will know. So, this is it, guys. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you know that you are team boy, remember to put down in the comment section team boy. And if for people that know, like I told you guys that I went for antenatal, yeah, I went for checkup in my hospital. As I was just coming out, a very, very happy woman just told me, Oh, you're having this sex. So if you're someone that looks at somebody and detects the sex of a baby, comment down what you think i'm having and yeah guys thank you so much for watching if you watch up till now thank you so much i will see you guys in my next video bye guys stay safe